I think it's pretty undeniable at this point that there is an impact on climate across the planet. I, just I don't think know. that's highly deniable. We have no idea what the impact is from. We don't know where the carbon dioxide is from. We can't measure the warming of the oceans. We have terrible temperature records going back 100 years. Almost all the terrestrial temperature detection sites were first put outside urban areas. And then as and the, right, and then you have to correct, then you have to correct for the for the movement of the urban areas. And then you introduce an error parameter that's larger than the purported increase in temperature that you're planning to measure. This isn't data. This is guess, and there's something weird underneath it. It has this guise of compassion. Oh, we're gonna save the poor in the future. It's like, that's what the bloody communists said. And they killed a lot of people doing it. And we're walking down that same road now with this insistence that, you know, we're so compassionate that we care about the poor a hundred years from now. And if we have to wipe out several hundred million of them now, well, that's a small price to pay for the future utopia. And we've heard that sort of thing before. And that's exactly what's happening now with organizations like the WEF, and if this wasn't immediately impacting the poor in a devastating manner. I wouldn't care about it that much, but it is. You know, I watched over the course of the last five years, the estimates of the number of people who were in serious danger of food privation rise from about 100 million to about 350 million. That's a major price to pay for a little bit of what, what would you say for, for progress on the climate front that's so narrow it can't even be measured.